What's happening, everybody? It is Thrifty Business with J and A. The Hall videos are thrifting halls. As always, I am Vegas J. And I'm Philly Nay. Hi, everybody. What's happening, Nadine? Not much. I'm excited to see your halls. Yeah, so the, uh, last week our guest was Cambridge, my good friend here in Vegas mm -hmm. who works at Savers. And of course, since I had to pick her up, I had to you do some shopping care. first. Yes. So <laughs> I did some shopping and boy, did I find some good things. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to show you some of my scores, some things why I bought them, what I paid, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> So the first thing I'm going to show you is I was just talking to somebody the other day about silver tab baggies. We all know to look for Levi silver tab baggies. And I was just saying, look for dark blue rims or blacks, 36, 38, but 40s are like the sweet spot. I was saying that on Wednesday. I, on Thursday, I find a pair of silver tab black baggies in size 40. Very I mean, cool. It's like Babe Ruth calling the home run. It is bizarre. Sure. So I didn't know that the black ones sell better. So so the black, dark blue, what else were you saying was... Uh, oh, shoot, I wasn't even on the screen. There we go. Uh, hey, look, silver tab baggies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the black, uh, okay. when I was looking at sold yesterday, the blacks are the highest, the blacks and the dark blues. Okay. And uh, this is a size 40-30, so, and these are in That's great shape. Size. Yeah. And I did pay a little bit more than normal, but I know that I'm going to have a nice return. So I mm -hmm. paid um, 10 bucks for them. Yeah, that's not bad for the return that you'll get. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's uh, I'm I'm very happy. So that's my one pair of jeans. And the other pair of jeans I bought uh, were also Levi's. They're five fifties, uh, but they're nice and big. And so, you know, bigger always sells. And these are fifty waist, thirty uh, length. Wow. And they're in great shape. Okay. And these, these were only uh, five dollars. Yeah, the 50 waist is uh, great on those. Yep, so those are my jean purchases. And I had done the uh, double X and extra large t-shirts. And one of the things I found uh, was this Rolling Stones um, Bigger Bang Tour t-shirt. It's got the tour dates on the back. I've sold this before, so it'll be easy to relist. And I was running out of time because I had to bring Cambridge back here for our show. And I was going to skip the large section of t-shirts. Mm -hmm. And as I was walking by the large section, this Ali Davidson was sitting at the end of the rack. And I, I looked at the price. Wow. And I'm like, I'm like $1.99 and I had 30% off. So I'm like, $1.40, holy cow. And it's a gorgeous one. Cool, and Franklin, Tennessee. And so I had to look at the larges. And because I looked at the larges, I found some sweet stuff. That's Here's great. A shirt from the movie Independence Day when it came out in immaculate, unworn shape. And that wow, was like 20 cool. years ago. So that's a cool piece. And then kind of next to that, and I'm guessing most people might not even catch this. They might have caught the back better. But Sammy Hagar throws a birthday party at his Cabo Wabo in Cabo in Mexico every year. Yeah. And so these are the shirts from the specific 2009 birthday bash. And all Sammy Hagar stuff sells very well, and especially okay. specific items like this. There's a little Cabo. I would have never known that. I would yep. have never. So yeah. this will be like a fifty dollar used T-shirt right here. Really? Yep. Wow. All right. What else? Oh, also, also in the T-shirt section uh, from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum in Cleveland is this: "If it's too loud, you're too old." Tie dye. <laughs> That's cute. And then there's the Rock Hall logo right there. Okay. And I've sold this shirt before too. So once again, it'll be easy. The same to sell. shirt. What yeah. did you sell it for before? Oh, it's been a while, but probably like thirty bucks. Okay, that's good. And this is a, this was a dollar forty. Wow. Now this is my hmm. I think it's a score, and I couldn't find anything like it, so I'm not hundred percent sure yet. But I paid uh, five dollars and sixty cents. Mm -hmm. It looks like somewhat of a regular uh, Hawaiian shirt. Right. What brand and, is it? And the brand is nothing. Mixed. Well, wait a minute. The brand is exciting. It's three. It's three XL and it's poly, so it's not all that exciting. But here's okay. the brand. I'm gonna see if you can see it. Yeah, Sonic. Yeah, the the hammer yeah. chain. Okay, so, so it's, it must be like a uniform shirt. Well, no, it was from okay. a convention called oh, Sonic wow. World in oh, Orlando. Okay. Two thousand six. So like all the Sonic manager people and everything probably got together for a big convention, and that's what they. Yep. It's pretty cool. So, you know, I've sold in and out burger stuff. I've sold all kinds of 
yeah. Yeah. type stuff for good money because this was something you couldn't just buy. Right. So somebody who's a big Sonic fan, I love that shirt. That's cool. I apologize about the barking dog. Uh, hey, luckily mine are asleep, but I fully understand. <laughs> I got barking dogs all over this house. Now, when this was made, uh, the rainbow was probably not the symbolism of gay pride, but it is now, so that's how I'm going to market this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. awesome little travel bag to Maui. Oh, that's cool. And it looks like it's 70s. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Now, the only bummer is it has a cross strap, but it didn't have a cross strap with it. But it's still... Yeah, but somebody can still replace that easily. Oh, yeah. Such an awesome bag in awesome, awesome condition. Somebody will love having this bag. That's great. Now, I bought these for myself. But as my wife pointed out, they're too big, so she goes, get rid of them. <clears throat> I'm assuming you're familiar with Dickies? Yes, yes, of course. So, plain white. It's got a little bit of a stripe in there. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. tell. And then plain beige with a little bit of a stripe. Same mm -hmm. shirt, 3 XLT. I'm only a 2 XLT, so wow. they were too big. That's <clears> great. But And by themselves, they might not be that exciting, but what I'm going to do is I'll put them together. The same 3 XLT person will love to have mm -hmm. two new shirts. And these Definitely. look like they've yeah, never that's been a good, that's, a good, that's a good idea to lock those off. I would, <clears> I would uh, probably do that too. I have not found large lingerie in a while that I like. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. always a good find. But lingerie, no. But I love this plaid little teddy thing here. Oh, that's cute. So what size it. is it and what brand is it? This one is uh, Cacao. How do you say that? Okay. The, uh, I, that is the, um, shoot, I forget which, which company that's the bigger size for. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> there. Oops. Well, I can't uh, get it. There yeah. we go. Oh, Cacique. Cacique. See, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> I'm such a dude that I can't pronounce it. Sounds like you said cacao. <laughs> yeah, cacao, Cacique. I don't know. Oh, it is 2628. Okay, good. It's That's in great. great shape and it's really sexy and cute. So. Yeah, I can see. I can see your shirt right through it. So, yes. Yeah. And it caught my eye because it was different than all the plain beiges and blacks mm -hmm. and whites. Yeah, that'll, that should go well. And then also, while in the ladies section, I found Nick and Nora. We always tell you buy Nick and oh, Nora. Oh, yes. I love Nick and Nora. And these are the fox pajamas with the feet. Oh, are they the feet? Yes, that's great. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. Feet. Now, that here, fantastic. if you're watching this, here's your tip. Even though you're going to want to call this a onesie, you can't. Because no. Gerber no. owns the brand <laughs> on onesie. So this is uh, footed pajamas is what this is. I would, yeah, I would call them footed pajamas or uh, one-piece pajamas. Now, to go along with my Maui uh, bag, I found these awesome sandals, flip-flops. Oh, yeah, those, those are great. And I, I, paid, uh, I paid four bucks, and the last pair on eBay sold for $37. you are going to want to call them platform wedge rainbow um, flip-flop sandals, thongs, that kind of thing. And All the those brand name words. is Rainbow Sandals, so I don't even get any extra words out of the brand name. <laughs> okay, so that's good. All right. I also found Woodford Reserve is a bourbon, and I found this Woodford Reserve bar caddy. Never been used. Ooh, interesting. Now, how do how can you turn it around? Like it's inside. Okay. So your napkins go here. That's and, what and I was going to ask. Yeah. Your okay. Straws okay. go here. Okay. Cool. But yeah, usually these things are plastic. This is nice wood. Yeah, that's wood. Yeah, that looks like nice wood. And then I found this Bicentennial Revolution belt buckle made in 1975. 76. Well, it was for the Bicentennial in 76, but it was made in 75. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I know it's the middle of July. It's probably hot as hell wherever you're watching this. But I bought snow pants. Yes, I did. <laughs> well, you know what? It's winter somewhere in the world. And ski season will be upon us through the later. Yeah. It is by Spider that has made awesome snow gear forever. Yeah. It's insulate, so it keeps you warm. And these are awesome pistachio green. Yes, they are. I love the color. The purple, that's great. Yep, and these were only uh, $7. That's great. The bummer is they're on the smaller side, but I'm thinking at least 50 bucks in the winter in winter time. I sold that, uh, if you watch our show, I, uh, our last show, I sold the giant armadillo plush. So when you sell one plush, you need to replace it with another giant plush. 
Oh my. Uh, and it's good plush. It is soft quality. It looks Not, soft. I looks like the floor. Yeah, cool. Now, it'll be tough to squeeze because the oh, feet hurt, yeah. are solid and he stands up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very cool. So that was, uh, that was 10 bucks. And I want to share uh, a score from our initial um, episode, episode one, when I was in Philadelphia with you. I just sold one of those mm -hmm. items last night. So here it is. Since we're in a haul thread, here's something from a haul. I bought this Beatles yeah. necktie when I was with you, Thrifton. Yeah. And I sold last night for $26.24. Very good. And you have another one to sell, too. I have another one to sell. But wait, mm -hmm. there's more. I found another one. <laughs> you did? Oh, wow. Yeah. So this cool. one's for Eleanor Rigby. Okay. So Maybe. keep your eyes in the tie sections. This, uh, yeah. this $2 and that would, will turn into that 26 one, bucks. Like you always have to turn them around because just looking at that, you wouldn't know that it was a Beatles yeah. tie. Yeah. Looking at this, this does not say yeah. the Beatles. No, you would never know. So that's why it's always important to, yep. to turn them around, look at the labels. And, and then my last two items, uh, well, if you watch our show, you saw that I found a Spice Girls pendant, which I've already put on a necklace. I'll be wearing it. And when I went over to the glass uh, <laughs> showcase where I found it, I noticed some sweet boots behind the showcase. And then I forgot because I saw Spice Girls stuff. And I lost my mind and I left. And luckily, when we had Cambridge on that night, we went to dinner. Cambridge was mm -hmm. talking about those boots to me. And I went, oh, shoot, I forgot to go look at them. So I went over. I went back the next day and I bought two mm -hmm. pair of boots. And here's the first pair I bought. These are roll down Doc Martens with this oh, awesome cool. flat flannel okay. inside. Yeah. And it's got a strap to keep the roll down down. Nice. And they look a little beat on, on yeah, the outside. I can but tell if, you, if you look at the bottoms, they've not been worn that much. You can probably clean those up oh, too. Yeah. On the, yeah. But that wasn't the prize. This is the prize. I spent the wow. most I've ever spent at a thrift store on one item. And I will make a hefty, hefty profit. I bought these black boots, which don't look like much from the front. But when I show you the back and who made them. Okay, yeah, I can see the sole that they've got, yeah. These are Alexander Wang. Okay. They were new for 1100 They are now sold out. I paid 210 for them. Okay. And the soles okay. on eBay are anywhere from 500 to 700 Wow, that's great. So I'll be selling my first pair of sexy thigh high that's black definitely, boots. That's definitely worth it. When you um when you go uh, you might know this, but when you go to photograph those, definitely stuff them, you know, the whole the whole um, oh, yeah. like the whole thing so that they stand up nice and straight. Some people don't don't do that. And then you know, like obviously when you ship them, you never fold them over. You have to get a nice long box. Oh yeah. It's just I, for I, everyone out there. I'm sure you know that, but I, I see two Frankenboxed uh, uh, shoe boxes together. And then doing it like this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You can't ever ship. You can't ever fold up, especially expensive boots like that. You can yep. never fold them over. Oh, yes. I will definitely not be, I will definitely, <laughs> I'll definitely not be uh, folding them in thirds no. and putting them in this. That's for sure. Yeah. No, that w somebody would do that though. Somebody out there would do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's my haul. It wasn't a big haul, but it was, uh, I got some good stuff. Yeah. Very nice. I like the boots, especially. Few bread and butter items, but a few uh, like even if this heart doesn't sell now. This will be a Valentine. hundred dollar heart at Valentine's Day for uh, sure. Definitely, yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Because not only is in good shape, it's super soft, and you know I, I will definitely sell that aspect. The yep. softest giant heart money can buy, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Great job. All right, so that's our haul for this week. Uh, it wasn't big, but it was fun and uh, some good stuff. If you like what you saw, click subscribe down below. And we have a show every week. We'll have at least one haul video every week. Uh, click like, give us a thumbs up, and uh, come on over to our fan page, Thrifty Business with J and A, and uh, tell us what you want to see. If you want to be in our haul videos, if you want to have us kind of critique your haul, drop us a note on the fan page, and we need somebody for our next haul video. So it could be you. And Thank also, you. it could be you when you get back to feeling better. Yes. <laughs> and it will be you. Yes. We will do Definitely. a nay-haul in the near Yeah, I haven't future. been able to thrift because I haven't been uh, – I just had surgery, but I will be thrifting again soon. So. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in. Good luck thrifting. I hope you find some scores. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.